right, we are playing some Welcome to Paradise. It's a new, new-ish zombie survival game, but it looks like it's taken a different approach to that genre. I thought we would uh, try it out, so I got a new YouTube channel. I uh, wanted to kind of add some diversity to what I've been playing. I've been really stuck on the finals lately. That guy might be my character there, we'll see. Um, the finals is great, a ton of fun, but I really uh, I wanted to switch things up, uh, play more than just the finals, and then because I truly play all types of different games, from strategy, turn-based, to real-time, to action RPG, to you know single-player RPG, to first-person shooters, I play everything. I usually can find a reason to enjoy something. Um, and also... I am testing out my brand new computer. So, uh, just got my very first gaming computer. Um, all of the videos that I've posted on my channel up until this point have actually been all done from a laptop. Um, I was even using the keyboard and everything on the laptop. I have my mouse separate, but... So right now, uh, very first time using a real gaming computer. And so yeah, let's get to it. Welcome to Paradise. These are preset options for character. Pretty good looking models. They don't all look the same, so that's cool. Go with that guy. Looks like he can beat up some zombies. So this character here, I played, looks like I was level 12, um, on the laptop, and so I, I have a decent idea of how to play and what to get going, but this isn't really far. Um, and what I found was, I was trying to record but my laptop couldn't handle it, so I'm just starting a brand new playthrough for you guys. And uh, if you enjoy it, then we'll keep the series running. And if not, then hey, at least it was a good test for me. And uh, plus, we get to play some of this. Let's rock. Wait, what? So confused. Load camp. No. Want to play new game? I'm confused. Do I just click here? Slot 2? Let's try it. Are you tired of constantly fleeing? Of hiding? Of struggling in a world infested by zombies? Are you exhausted? Without resources? A home? Without anyone to rely on? Don't despair. Hang in there. You still have a chance. Join us. Join Paradise. Here in Paradise, everyone is safe and everything is secure thanks to our zombie guard technology. It's a haven of peace where zombies are under our control. Here, zombies no longer attack you, they defend you. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you heard that Definitely right. Definitely a different it's take. Incredible. Thanks to our zombie guard technology, zombies have become genuine bodyguards that serve you. Thousands of acres where the living are back in control and existing in harmony, far from the pandemic. Thanks to this groundbreaking technology, stores, security guards, hospitals, industry, movie theaters, a safe place for everyone where men, women, and children have nothing more to fear from outside zombies. You don't need money, a title, or diploma to get your own zombie guard. Everyone is welcome in paradise. Everyone is welcome in paradise. Everyone is welcome. Everyone is welcome. Not sure it's somewhere I want to be, but hey. Oh my goodness, this looks so much better on this computer than my laptop, I can't even tell you. I've been like in shock for the past few days, looking at games. Alright, so it's WASD. I'm not sure if I have a key overlay showing or not. Pick stuff up. A lot of resource gathering, zombie smacking, you know. Your mouse dictates which way you swing. So, sometimes it's hard to keep track of the mouse cursor when stuff's going crazy. Ah, <sighs> I could 
watch them all day. Don't even need to fetch wood. They feed the generator all by themselves. No more worrying about electricity. Maybe I could teach them to cultivate my veggie garden. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Didn't see you there. Are you wanting to move in here? I'm going to try not to click through uh, uh, cutscenes. Wait, uh, hold up. Because I always do. What am I supposed to do? But for you guys, no I'm going to try and let it run. to move in here. Uh, uh, for the most part. Yes, the bylaws. Yes, that's it. Rule they have like number a one British of the paradise accent or To gain authorization to move in. Don't hang me if that's not accurate. He has some kind of accent. No one I'm should sure move where, around in paradise without from. Zombot protection. So before anything else, find a Zombot. Go see Bob. He supplied mine. Bro, wash your clothes, dog. You look bored. Get some of that blood off the walls. Oh, look, wood. Stealing wood from these guys. I guess they're, uh, so their job is to basically pick up. You put these pylons down in a work area, and you can um, assign workers and do all kinds of stuff from the menu. Oops. We gotta go there. Don't die. Find Bob. Move. Oh yeah, we have a stamina bar down here below our health bar. Gotta keep an eye on that. And these ones have like computer uh, helmet things. They're not gonna attack you unless you attack them. These ones don't. And you, know, you hold left click for a power swing. Space bar will dive. But what I found when I played before was a lot of the time, timing w your first swing. So if you click rapidly, you do a combo, but then you can't attack for a moment, right? So one, two, three, and then I'm clicking there. That's as soon as you can attack. Sometimes just clicking the first attack indefinitely, your stamina doesn't even go down. So watch. One, two. Yeah, it's kind of cheesy. Only in the beginning. It starts to not work later. Oh yeah, let's, let's do this helmet. Broken hack helmet. Skill point. Bob's archives P-48-3 the emotional support zombot. Open the portable pylon configuration menu. Equip your zombot with a saddle, then order it to heal so this is what the menu while in looks combat like. and to collect items while out of combat. For customizing zombies. You can like really fine tune to get them to do what you want. And there's armor and weapons, um, and different it. combinations of to heal different you. armors and weapons. Transport you and collect items. Hmm? There's more to Let you basically do different builds. It's pretty cool. Sorry, always talking through the damn cinematics. Alright, let's see. Map. Let's take the long route. Maybe we can kill some zombies. Leaves. Can't remember what those are for. I think the sage, sage, and maybe leaves for bandage or something. Oh, what the hell! I literally have never seen this. What the hell? Should I try? Hell yeah, we're gonna try. Let's see. Let me try this dive the other way first. If I run and dive, maybe. I'm gonna try and time a sprint run. Nope. Okay. Here we go. Oh no. That hurt real bad. That hurt real bad. And I ain't got no bandages. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. The boy might not be here for very long. Oh, we can make some. No, I can't. You need one rip cloth. I don't have any. Yeah. Should we send it? 
I mean, it is early in the game. Maybe we just send it. Let's see. I don't know if I can make that. Maybe I can. I did! Honestly, didn't think I was gonna make it. I never found this before. That's hilarious. So this stops them from spawning. They spawn from this. Uh, the red ones are bad. What do you know? Red is bad. Huh. Oh, okay. Okay, old hold to open. Let's see what the hell is. Golden knife. Pedro's golden knife. Alright. That's crazy, I never found that before. I feel like I found a Pedro's golden knife, but not there. Alright. Well, I was trying to take a detour to go the long route, but can't get there, so we'll go back the way we can. I need to find some, um cloth so I can bandage up. I'm almost dead. Maybe we go get some zombies. Try to get some cloth. I think the regular zombies drop it. Uh oh. Come on, give me some cloth. There we go. One good old bandage. Let's see. I have 60. Okay, so it gives 60. I'm up at 120. Try not to take the easy hits here. Oh, yeah, you can do finishing moves, but on these zombies, they're so weak, you can just hit them one more time. Uh, there's some zombies that have a ton of health and defense, so finishing them is the easiest way. These guys are a little easy though, so no need. No need. Alright. Bob's Field Laboratory. And we made it without dying. Oh yeah, and more skill points. We'll uh, pull that menu up here in a second. Oh hey! You're new here, right? Look at ah. this guy. I'm Bob. I'm the one who got the Zombot technology back up and running. The zombie hacking. Appreciate you it, want Bob. Zombot? I can't nice give socks. you mine. I need them too much. So, you should capture your own. Grab a broken helmet from one of the malfunctioning Zombots in front We're of the zombie. Repair it and force it onto the head of a wild zombie. <laughs> if it starts wanting to eat you, it's worked. If not, uh, run. Kind of sounds like the Borderlands voice guy, to be honest. It might be him, actually. Okay, we've got to craft the hack helmet. I don't know, just make three for the hell of it. So we just got to go get a zombie here. Uh-oh. Kill him and then capture him. Nice. Oh, that scared me for a second. Alright. Oh, he's already picking stuff up. Good boy. Alright, so... Let's go talk to Bob. Well, well, well. Not bad, right? This zombot will follow you everywhere, but... If you want to give it precise orders, you'll need to use the tech I developed. You'll be my guinea pig. Take this antenna, attach it to your backpack. Mm. With this, you'll have much finer control over your zombot. Oh, feel free to give it a try. Zombie hacking was quite buggy until we started working on it, uh, me and my buddies. I know what I'm doing, trust me. This thing probably won't explode. Better not explode, bro. I know where you live. If I, if, I'm, if I survive that, I'll, I'll be back for you. With more than... He's only got like four zombies here, dude. Five. If I made this technology, I'd have an absolute army. Like, you wouldn't be able to get to me. 
crazy. Oh, look at this. Yeah, so this is some of the armor I was talking about. See, that was a uh, me not pointing my mouse in the right direction. So, see it says zombie target 25%. Once you find a new piece of armor or a new weapon or something, um, you have to collect a few of them before you have access to it. And then you can... Ooh, then you can actually make it and equip it on your zombie. Alright, so what are we doing? Talking to the warden? I just want to kill some stuff real quick. Here. Oh yeah, so I can tell him to attack. Press Q. Let me give him a weapon. There's another... Did I already hit this one? Bob's Archives P-89-5, the social distancing zombot. Open the portable pylon configuration menu. Equip your zombot with spiked armor and a bat. And order yeah. it to use this to provoke enemies while in combat. That's what taunt, yeah. I want to find one with spiked armor. I don't think I've seen it. And that is it. First with the spikes and your zombot's bat. The enemy shouldn't get any closer. But if provoked, they won't be able to help themselves. Free hugs. Barry Bonds out here, boy. Out here. Schmacking these zombies. Let's go. Alright. Finishing move. What is this? Oh, that's, that's right. Wait, what is this? Oh, these are the fast travels. That's right. I need to unlock them. Boom. Can't be forgetting that. It's important. Sage, all right. Oh, I forgot to open the menu here. Let's look at the skills and uh, equip him with something so he's not just Mike Tyson out here. What? No. Just gold, I guess. Alright, Zombot. He can only have a wood stick right now. Wait, can I craft something? No. Nothing. Almost. Need to find a few more targets. Alright, so these are the skills. Um, this is for me. Oh, no way. I didn't even know there was combat survival. I only saw this. I just noticed this just now. That is way too funny. I literally only was leveling up in this tree because I didn't see these two when I played before. <laughs> Perfect. So, let's, let's read all these together. This is survival. Health. Plus 50% scrap gain during recycling. That might be really helpful. Stamina regen, super helpful. Healing received. Okay, and up at the top. Explosive arrows and bolts. Recovering the arrow after you shoot it. Might be tough. Allows you to make and use explosive bullets and air pistol pellets. Shoot, shooting explosives. Bow expos explosives. Plus 70 health. So this is like, this whole line right here is just tons of health. Make and use grenades. That's kind of cool. Allow you to make and use decoys. Sounds fun. Roll stamina. Reload while rolling. Maximum weight. Hmm. Okay. speed okay and then the interesting one combat your bows and crossbows fire two projectiles at once 
Killing an enemy with melee attack restores health. That's kind of cool. More damage. Attack stamina cost reduction. Adds a fourth hit to your melee combo. And one more punch for good measure. Five. The first three attacks of a melee combo no longer cost stamina. Ancient technique known on nah, I don't think we need this, at least not at the moment, I don't feel like we do. Aiming speed, that's probably uh reduces the aiming time for ranged weapons. Aiming time is probably important. Aiming speed. Okay. Well, I think we should uh, hook up our zombies first a little bit. Increase the scrap they collect. That'll help right away. Oh, speaking of which, there was another good one. That would have helped right away recycling. But I don't know what scraps gain during recycling. Taking things apart. I don't even think I've recycled anything before. So maybe not. Make perfect executions inflicts a lot of damage on surrounding enemies. Interesting. I might try that actually right now. Okay, let's go with that. Let's see. Hopefully we can get some more equipment for the zombies. Make it a little more powerful. Let's go this way since we haven't gone north. Oh! Little bush zombie. Nice. Good job, dude. Why aren't you picking stuff up? You kill him, I'll kill him. Bam. Okay, so we're leveling up just doing this. I thought I was kind of messing around. This is helpful. Yeah, I'm being helpful. That's what it is. Guys, I don't even get hit. I don't think. Oh, I did. 10 HP. Yeah. <laughs> Probably want to buff my stamina. I don't like running out of stamina so quick. You use it for attacking, running, diving, evading, I mean. So. Probably worth investing some. That one's already unlocked. Oh no! Wild zombies have got in! They, they, they... Ah, not again! <laughs> Yeah, it changed the uh, animation to be easier for finish off. Oh, a little long show, but... with mood my 
Some bots are down, and the gate won't close without electricity. Got just enough room. Press the button, man. Close the what gate. Button? We can't let any other wild zombies get in. This button. Saved your life, you owe me a million dollars. For zombies. Let's go. Ah, oh, one less. Well, that'll teach me to forget to close the gate. Thankfully, the pit keeps most wild zombies out of paradise. And you found a zombot? Great! Here are the plans for building your camp. You need to go to the other side of the river, to the wild forest. Be careful out there. There's no one left there, and the Zombots are out of control. You'd better find yourself a weapon. Don't look at me like that. I can't do the cleaning as well as watch the gate. Go see the circus sharpshooter who has settled in the area. Let's go. Make any weapons yet? No. Make some armor. Nope, can't even make armor. Alright, we need to go progress. We need to get some stuff unlocked here. There's some stuff to unlock right there. So, one more target, we should have it unlocked. There it is. <laughs> Leave my zombie alone. Alright, there we go. Attracts enemy fire, so it'll be drawing uh, their attention, I guess. Ooh, nice shy sucker. Not today. See, the attacks are definitely becoming less and less effective. One hit that fool. Find Pedro. Alright, I already found your golden knife, Pedro. Oh, look. Is this a jetpack, dude? What is that? A zombie saddle. You can ride him. Saddle. Here we go. How did you manage to make it here? You're looking for a weapon? Good timing. My uh, zombots have started attacking everything that moves, including oh, me. Yeah. I need someone to. Teach them some manners. I'll let you take their weapons if you finish them off. My character does not look amused with this guy at all. Freaking psychopath or what? I guess if you're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, you probably become a little uh, numb to everything. Oh, shit. <laughs> goes better than me <laughs> I 
Wish I could do that animation every time. It was faster. Ooh, got the Dirty air rotten undead. Destroy the pylon, kiddo. I'm done with that brainiac and his newfangled technology. My zombie did die. Let me go pick him up. You can, uh. Oh, wait, I don't think I have the perk to res him. You gotta make new ones. I oh, just smashed his head. That ain't gonna work. Capture this guy. There we go. Activate the fast travel. I think I forgot to do that in a bunch of places last time I, tr I uh, tried this game. But I didn't get too far, so. A lot of this is going to get new pretty quick. Ooh, got the pistol. That's right. Let's see. Um, is it B? Yeah. B can change the way they look. Thank you, kiddo. Oh, I didn't have enough bullets to this finish him off, little, uh, but otherwise I'm most certainly going on, would don't have. He? This cataract won't stop me You've hitting just been the bullseye. Right. For... Anyway, uh, can Since I I've sign playing, you an autograph just been sitting for your in that trouble? Same spot? It's probably why you got what? a hunchback, dude. You've never heard of me? I'm the most famous, the most celebrated, and the sharpest of all sharp, sharp shooters, shooters in, in the, the history, history of, of circus, circus, kiddo. I'm... Pedro the Great. I have your gold because knife, I like Pedro. You. Uh, here's a little tip from Uncle Pedro. Zombies start to swarm when you try to run away. It's best to take them out right away. If you Let's run, go. you're as good as done. I'm skipping this, sorry guys. Get tired of talk. I want to kill stuff. Make blinks. Look at all these guns. Stats. Oh, that's recycling when you break down the rest of these. I see. I don't think I've really used the saddle, so I might try that. Apply quickly. I think this would be better if you were at ranged. I'm thinking I want to do melee zombots, though. Okay. So we need five skill points spent here. Okay, I guess uh, we're gonna try and make use of the saddle. Never used it before, but. Oh yeah, I customize this. Collect, use combat. Um. All right. Oh, I need to make ammo. Air pistol pellets. Alright, 
That should be good. Yeah, 60 of them. Repair the bridge. Oh, it's right there. Gonna find some zombies to shoot. Try this new uh, air pistol out. Oh, I can go. Got him. Damn. It's pretty strong. Takes a while to aim though. The aiming's interesting. Oh, that guy has uh, spikes that I want. Definitely repair this bridge. Replay. found a bat. I think that was the uh, best weapon I had when I played before. Let's give him a bat. Try to go get some more spiked armor so we can put some spikes on him and have him uh, start being a bully for me. I mean, things look pretty good, dude. Like, that water, I never really stopped to look at. I know it didn't look this good with my laptop, but it actually looks pretty, pretty realistic. Like, pretty good job on the water. A random cubby. Oh, dang, he has a shotgun. Oh, he's busting at us. Bah. Ooh, found the shoddy. Taking this place over. It's mine now. It's another bridge can fix. Notice I had just enough. So I'm, I crafted it for the next bridge earlier. Oh, what is this? Oh! What the heck were these things? Little birds? Zombie birds? I'm confused. I think those were zombie birds. Never saw this chest before either. Another golden knife. Okay, so I'm not crazy. I did find that knife in the other place before. Because that's two. Two of them now. find these spikes on me, but I guess it was just a few of them in that area. At least we're getting a bunch of materials doing all this, exploring the map a bit. So we need one, two more bridges. I'll go north and then come back around here. Exploration. Oh yeah, and you can quick swap through weapons. Can't shoot over there. Oh no. Oh no. I got ugly quick. Dang, this bad smacks though. Damn. No 
more trumpet blowers. I think you can give your zombie a trumpet too. Oh, alt, use your flashlight. Oh, look at that. That looks pretty damn good, actually. Wow, alright, alright. I don't know if, um, if you give the trumpet to your zombie, I'm not sure if he will call in other zombies to help you, though. I feel like I tried it, and I never saw any reinforcements. Sneak attack this well. Look at him bullying people, bro. Just like, just like I wanted. Oh, the light looks really good. You got some really cool uh, stuff going on with the lighting. I think they might have bulletproof armor or something. Pellet proof armor, I should say. Yeah, anti projectile. So I was barely hurting him with the full, uh. Nice try. Try to spawn another zombie right there. Wait, what is this? A latch and tape and a broken pipe. Okay, starting to unlock the anti-projectile armor. <laughs> I can just sit back and let him uh, be the bully. I'm way better with the bat though. Oh, uh oh. Bandage, turn around. Let's go get our get our fella here. Maybe I made a zombie on the fly. I thought you were gonna jump me fool. I thought you were about to jump me fool. Hell nah. We make it happen out here on the fly. Ooh. Ran into my ops. Zombots, Zombot Ops, Zombops. It's my Zombops. Where am I seeing the tag? Oh, is this a fast travel? Yep. Ooh, I shouldn't be here though. Hot area, regulate temperature. You have to drink things to survive out here, that's crazy. Oops. Oh, gotta go this way. Back to the area I belong in. I saw this stuff that I wanna grab. Oh yeah, I should make some bandages before it's too late. Oh, skills too. Let's get that um, scrap skill. Recycling, yeah. We'll go with stealthy maybe next. I really do want to unlock the next tier. For the zombots, so. though. Oh, let's see what the shotgun looks like. See how he uh, does with that thing. Be 
can see he has a little health bar there too. I don't have any way to heal him, so I think it's just best to carry a couple extra helmets or something. In fact, I should craft a couple. Just to have a few extra on hand if my Zombot dies. Oh. Tape and an old tire. So these um, pipes seem to have different materials that I don't find really anywhere else. Press and hold F to dismantle all duplicates. Oh yeah, now that I have it, I can do that. Scrap junk. So I should get more. 315 scrap. That seems like an absurd amount. I don't think... Uh, I don't think I was getting that before, so that's cool. I can't believe I didn't see those other two skill trees the first time I played. I was like, oh, I mean, it's cool they have skills, but they're pretty limited. Not much uh, option here. There was a ton of option, I just didn't see it. I went too far down, we gotta go up to the left. I can turn my flashlight off soon. Oh, what the heck? They're throwing something? Stones, I guess? I actually hurt. Oh, they're about to murk me with that, actually. I gotta go. A bandage. I just saw my health is really low. Yeah, I don't think I remember getting hit by uh, rocks before. <laughs> Seems like stone just pops up here though. Wonder if I could. Oh, I can't build anything yet. Pretty soon I can build. That might be a good place to build uh, a gathering, a gathering uh, pylon. So you can have a few zombots. I think three, up to three, gather whatever spawns in that area. And I think woods. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Gotta tell him to go away. That hurt. That hurt bad. Can't wait. Hopefully I can unlock it right here. No, 66, 83. We're close. Maybe I'll let a few more spawn. If they spawn here. And let them spawn and then, uh... Oh, unlocked it. Not gonna let them spawn now. Give this guy some spiky armor, baseball bat, and then taunt. Craft. Oh. Just do all planks. Rope. We already been here. Yep. Friendly area. Oh, I gotta go up there for wood. I think um we should be getting yeah, level seven. So we're getting up there. Once we get to like ten or so, it really kinda gets going. What the hell does he have? Oh, I don't know why it looked like a different weapon. I didn't think it was a shot. Of. Oh, I, 
I gotta turn taunt out of combat off. Out of combat. Causes enemies to panic. What else can I do? Heal? Out of combat? Can heal. Okay, sure. That's cool. Oh, wow. I slowly tick up HP. I have 196. Let's see. Yeah, plus three. All right. That's cool. Did not know that. Oh, what a beast. Oh yeah, I think this is the best build I've had with the Zombat. The spikes are brutal. I guess you could farm one of those things, right? You could just sit there and let zombies pop out and kill them. Might be a good way to cheese some XP, some levels. I gotta drink water, huh? Well, I'm not in that area, but you can just hold mouse forward to drink water. That's interesting. Okay. Sticks. Find a source of wood. Did I not just kind of do that? See a bunch of trees. It's a pretty good source of wood. So if I build it here, can I build yet? I don't know if I can. No, I can't, but I'll build here, make some planes. Oh, I can build now. Huh? Okay, cool. gathering pylon here.
figure. Do two zombies. Wait. Two zombies. What is this? Do I not have any of that? Oh, power. I need power. A wood generator. All right. Should make some energy. Tuck that away somewhere. Looked like it turned green. Oh, right here. Bam. Okay, so we just need to get a bunch of wood in here to start, and we'll have power. Okay, I think that's a really good setup. Uh, I don't know, everything's going better this time around than it was last time. Since it's my only pylon, I'm not too worried about the cost. I don't know how much, oh, right here, 3,000 watts produced. So I'm just gonna see what happens if I max this out right now. Probably nothing, there's no need to have that many freaking zombies gathering. Let's just do three, four, five, four. I might have to come back here and turn that down, but let's just see what happens. There's probably not enough wood to even need that, but I did just make the pylon radius huge. I don't know what how big nine is. Let's see. Okay, so that border. I don't think that there's really anything over there. Let me see if I notice anything spawning over here. I don't think there will be, though. It's gonna be pretty close spawning. Yeah, we don't need all this. Two. I have to do them individually. Wait, I'm confused. Do I have more than one pylon? Oh, these are different configurations. Okay. So this configuration is what I have set. Wait, one, two. I'm so confused right now. What am I doing here? Okay, let's see if I should only have two zombies. Plus my guy who's following me. The blue head. 
That's good. It should be busy. And then... another bridge. This is actually a really good start. I'm pretty happy with this. I've learned so much uh, that I didn't know last playthrough, so pretty good, pretty good. Build, this. Build the shelter and a weapons workshop. go do that. <laughs> yeah, stamina is going to need an upgrade for sure. Okay, let's just try and keep everything pretty nearby for the time being until I really figure out what's going on. What is it? Build, shelter, and workshop. Oh, damn. Home sweet home. Let's see, how do we want this? Oh, let's just do it up here in the tree, huh? Kind of looks... looks intentional. Oh, look at that. Nice, it blends in there. Cool. Oh, it's our inventory. Um, I don't really know what to put in here. I see you can only carry so much, so... Oh, damn. Let me clean up the junk first. Oops. Guess we'll just put all the supplies. Bunch of bandages with that real quick. Keep some wood. Get rid of all of that. So we're gonna keep the scrap with us. Doesn't weigh anything. The nails don't really. None of it really weighs anything. I don't know why I wouldn't carry everything. I feel like I'm supposed to s store something here though. I'm just gonna carry it all. I guess these weigh quite a bit. What I split. Take some. Get some wood. gonna keep it with me until I have a weight issue. I don't know why I wouldn't. I just felt like I need to empty stuff here. Okay, weapon workshop next. Should 
should we can ro oh you can rotate oh wow look at that smooth rotation Oh wow, tons of different weapons, a wooden boomerang, I can make that, no way. Oh, things are about to get fun, I don't think I've ever used any of this. Level eight right now. Rare air pistol. Sure. Gonna make some ammo. Try it out real quick. See how this new thing goes. Don't even want the smoke. Zombie Bell? I don't even know what that does. Alright, well, pistol's stronger. Same same type of pistol, but better. So, really great start to this uh, playthrough. Got um, a consolidated base, got really a, a better understanding of a lot of things. Like, pretty quickly. I'm not sure. Do they collect mushrooms too? Let's see. No, doesn't look like it. I'll have to grab mushrooms if I see them. Okay. What else do we need? Answer call on communication terminal. Jeff Tusk here, owner of Paradise, the H2 Lunar Base, and much more. We've just detected your presence in the park. You won't be able to stay very long. The invasion is growing outside the perimeter. It'll be a tidal wave and complete carnage for any survivors. It's the end for Paradise, the end for Earth. All inhabitants have been evacuated to the H2 Lunar Base. We're safe and comfortable here. Humanity's future is up here, not down there. Let me think. Uh, we could come back to find you. Our rockets can land almost anywhere. You just need to build a launch pad strong enough for us to land and launch off again. If I remember correctly, we used a material that was suitable for reinforcing the fence around Paradise. Build the structure for us and let me know when it's done.
All right, so that was a pretty good start. I um, think probably going to call the first part here. I'll have um, more episodes popping up. We'll see how everybody likes it and if they want more of it. Uh, but I'm going to head back to base and we can start the alloy plate message quest um, on the next video.